Hi, Stitchy friends. Welcome back to my channel, Stitchy Sarah Reads. I'm Sarah, and you can find me at the same name on Instagram, Stitchy Sarah Reads, Sarah with an H. Um, so this is floss tube number eight. Today is November 7th. Uh, this is a channel where I talk all about my cross stitch, and I sometimes also talk about the books I'm reading. So um, welcome back if you are a returning viewer. I really appreciate those of you who keep coming back to see me talk about cross stitch. It's wild. And uh, if you're new here, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. And uh, if you enjoy what you see, please take a moment to like and subscribe to my channel. Okay, so um, let's talk about the elephant in the room. Uh, I haven't been around in a while, and I'm sorry about that. I've been missing in action lately. So um, not on purpose. Uh, I'm not purposely avoiding you guys. I just, uh, it's been busy, a little stressful. So um, I'm finally back. So just a couple things I've been dealing with. Um, first of all, my dog, Toby, I've mentioned him before. He's 11 years old. He's a rat terrier. And uh, he's just not been in the best of health. He's um, He's got really bad arthritis. He's having a really hard time getting around. He's in a lot of pain. He's falling a lot. Um, he doesn't really go up the stairs anymore because every time he tries, he falls down, which is awful. Um, and with that, he was, he's been having some digestive issues, which have not been fun. Um, so it's been a lot of going back and forth to the vet, trying to figure out, you know, what kind of pain meds to keep him on and, and other things to keep him comfortable and to help him with his digestion as far as like changing his diet and all that stuff. So my poor dog has been a hot mess. Um, and it doesn't help that he misses his kids. My kids are all out of the house. Um, my two younger kids are off at college and my oldest, um, she's been out of the house for a few years now. She lives downtown in Cincinnati with her boyfriend. So, um, my dog, Toby, he grew up with my kids, so he misses them terribly. He loves his, I call them his kids, um, but he misses, he misses my kids. Um, so I know that he would be so much happier if they were here with him to take care of him, but he's stuck with us, with my husband and I, so we're trying to keep him comfortable and keep him happy. I know he'll be really happy when the kids come home for Christmas, and so will I. Um, I don't know how many of you guys out there are empty nesters. This is my first time being an empty nester. It's my first time having all of my kids out of my house, and um, it sucks. It sucks. Um, I, you know, I've been a mom for a very long time, and everything I did was for my kids, and now there's no kids here, so it's really weird, and I don't like it. Um, just me and my husband and the dogs, and kind of quiet. I do have less laundry to do, so that's good. Um, but other than that, it kind of sucks. So if you're an empty nester out there, I appreciate all the good vibes you can send me because it's a hard adjustment. It's not been fun. Um, I had fully intended on making a video last weekend, but um, I got my COVID booster at school uh, on Friday. Why they decided to give it to us on the same day we were having our harvest party and our costume parade at school, I have no idea. <laughs> but um, so I had my COVID booster on Friday and I didn't even get out of bed on Saturday because I was just, I was just exhausted and it really hit me. But um, I feel great now that I'm fully immunized and I, you know, being a teacher in the classroom, I'll take all the protection I can get. So anyway, I'm feeling much better. So I'm back, here I am. Um, full disclosure, this is like the third video I've filmed, um, in the last, uh, couple of weeks. A couple of weeks ago, my friend Jen and I filmed a video and, um, neither of us, we were both just off. So I decided not to publish that video. And then this morning I published a really long whip parade and decided that was no good. So I'm not going to publish that either. So apparently I'm being my own worst critic. So we'll see if this even gets published. I'm hoping at this point it does because I don't want to go another week or so without publishing a video. So um, it's been a while. I have probably stitched on several things that I don't even remember what I've stitched on since I saw, saw you guys last. So I just thought I would pull out a couple of things that I've been working on recently and show them to you and um, hopefully get back into a more regular groove because I don't like being away. Um, I do apologize. I have gotten behind on my comments. So my goal this week is to take some time to go back and read all of the comments. I've read um, most of them, but I want to go back and read all of them 
and try to respond to as many as I can. So I'm going to try to do that. So I apologize if you've made a comment. I'm not ignoring you. It's just, it's just been, just been a week or two or three. Anyway, um, so I'm going to go ahead and start with a finish. I've got an FFO. Ooh. Um, I actually finished this like two or three weeks ago, but I don't think I've shown it to you. So I'm going to show it to you now. I love this. I know I showed, um, I showed it when it was a whip, but I don't think I've shown the finished product. So this is a Raven's Reply by Luminous Fiber Arts. It is gorgeous. Um, I stitched it, I believe it's a 32 count uh, Viteris fabric from Mystic Fabrics. And um, I stitched it with all the called for DMC, except I think the light orange in here is Daylily from Weeks Dye Works. And I know I used another fancy floss and I can't remember. I think it was this orange, but I can't remember for the life of me what it was called or what brand it was, so I apologize. But I think it turned out beautiful. I did have to frog that um, the uh, borders a few times because apparently I don't know how to count. Um, but once I figured it out, it turned out really nice. I bought this wooden piece at Michael's um, with their Halloween decor and I thought it would just be perfect and it really turned out to be perfect for this because this piece just fits in there perfectly. It had a little thing on the front that had a little saying about crows and I just pulled it off because it was glued. And so I just put my design on some sticky board with some batting behind it and um, glued it on. And I put some little pom-pom trim along the edges and I think it turned out perfectly. I'm really happy with this finish. So um, I've been enjoying putting this out with my fall decor. So there's my finish. I love it. <laughs> okay, um, let's move on to some whips. Again, I'm not going to show you everything I've worked on because honestly, I don't remember everything I've worked on since I saw you last. So we'll just look at a few things. Um, the first thing I've been working on is the Maple Lane um, Stitch Along from Frosted Pumpkin. I'll show it to you. So two clues have been released. This, this clue just came out on Friday. This was the first clue here. I haven't started the second clue yet. I'm still on the first clue, so I need to catch up. Um, I purchased it as a kit, so this fabric came with the kit. It is um, 28 count cashel linen uh, from Picture This Plus in the color vellum. And here's where I am so far. Sorry for the wrinkle in there. I don't, I don't iron my things. I just show them. I just keep them in my bag and then pull them out and show them. So there it is. I've got the coffee and tea stand. I haven't fully stitched the guy yet. I think I've got part of his shirt here. Um, got the little the little uh, espresso machine there. Um, I still have to do the tree. I believe the tree's over to the side here. So I've got some more work to do before I'm finished with clue one and then I can start clue two. So I can't say no to a frosted pumpkin sow. I just love, I love their designs. They're so cute. They get me into the, Holiday spirit. This one ha gives me all the fall vibes. So I'm really excited to, to do some more on this one. I'm gonna put it back in my bag so I don't get everything disorganized here. This was a dot dot goose bag I got a while ago. It has like a little Christmas fabric on the inside. All right, another thing I've been working on. I did, I did work on a lot of like Halloween, um, fall type things over the last month. And this has been a favorite of mine. It's uh, Hello from Liz Matthews, Sleepy Hollow. And I just love this design. I love all the little grumpy pumpkins. I love the owls on the tree branches and those cats down there and all the bats. And there's just so much going on in this design. So uh, I decided to stitch this on a, I believe this is a 36 count um, fabric that I got from Jody from the Steel City Stitchers. She has a fabric of the month club. And I just thought it, the colors would really pop on this like mottled green fabric. So there we are. Sorry, I didn't bring my board down. Let me see if I can put something behind it so you're not seeing the light through it. Um, that's a little bit better. So I've got the tree all finished and I've started on some of the ground there and I've got three of my pumpkins and a kitty cat and an owl. And as you can see, I've got a whole lot more to go. So, but that's where I'm at so far. It's looking cute. It's a fun stitch. So there's that. Again, I'm gonna fold it up first and put it back in my bag. Speaking of bags, 
This was a Halloween bag from Painted Leaf Company on Etsy. Uh, if you've been here before, you know that the Painted Leaf Company is an Etsy shop that's run by my mom and my sister. And um, they're making all these beautiful project bags. And of course, I always have to get the matching notions bag to keep all my floss in. You can see I'm using the DMC floss for this. Um, I love it. The cute little Halloweeny bag. So cute. My younger dog, Daisy, she is a Chiweenie. So she's a cross between a Chihuahua and a Dachshund. And she, she looks a lot, she looks a lot, where is he? She looks a lot like that dog. If you've, if you've watched my other videos, you've seen Daisy before. She's so cute. Usually she's right here in my lap, but for some reason she's off doing her own thing, which I'm fine with. Makes my video a lot easier. Okay, um, I'm gonna show you a couple more things here. Um, I know I've shown this bag before. I think I've shown this bag before. Maybe I haven't. I'm pretty sure I did. Anyway, it's my Nutcracker bag from Painted Leaf Co. On Etsy. Another beautiful bag of my mom's. I love it. Um, my sister has recently started making bags too. So now they're able to crank out a lot more bags in the shop. Um, so hopefully you're following them on Etsy. Um, they always post stories uh, when they're going to be restocking the shop. I know they try to do some, I know they try to do some restocks on, um, on uh, Fridays at seven o'clock Eastern Standard Time. So keep your eyeballs on their Etsy or on their Instagram so you know what what patterns are coming and when they're going to be restocked because they go fast. This one is a personal favorite. I absolutely love it. Um, I have a thing for nutcrackers. Um, I collect nutcrackers and my daughter Maggie, she actually um, performed in the Nutcracker um, in downtown Cincinnati a few years ago few years ago, 10 years ago, <laughs> when she was 11, um, the Cincinnati Ballet did open auditions for the children's parts in the, um, in the ballet. And so my daughter, Maggie, she uh, auditioned and she got a role as a cupcake. So when the Sugar Plum Fairy was out there, all the little cupcakes pranced out and danced around her. And so that's her claim to fame. So I've loved Nutcrackers ever since then. And I have a nice collection of Nutcrackers that I get out every Christmas time. So as soon as I saw that Caterpillar Cross Stitch was doing a Lucky Nutcracker sow, uh, I signed up immediately. And I'm so glad I did. Here, let me fold this up a little bit so you can see it better. Um, because this is gorgeous. I love it. I love the fabric I chose. Um, I actually bought this fabric on Lindy Stitch's website. Um, this is the fabric she uses for Edna Goes to Brunch. Um, I thought it would be perfect. I love the, so it's called Mint Splash Lugana by Zweigert, and I believe it's a 32 count. Um, I just love all the little white speckles. It looks like snowflakes. And um, I'm almost all caught up on this one. So um, so I think I'm just missing like some holly berries and leaves around the uh, corners, like you can see down there. I know I'm missing like a candy cane over here and another like piece of candy like that over here. So I don't have much more to go until this is all caught up. So I'm going to work on that over the next few days to get that caught up because I think the next clue comes out this Friday. So I want to be ready for it. So I love it. It's gorgeous. I cannot wait to display this for Christmas. Just look how that red pops on the Nutcracker's jacket. This is this is probably my favorite Caterpillar cross stitch um, design that I've stitched. So beautiful. Okay. Got two more things to show you. Let's see. What am I going to show first? I'm going to show this one first. Okay. So another thing I've been working on, actually, I just started it yesterday. Emily's house from Lindy stitches. Um, so my birthday was last month, October 23rd. And um, Lindy Stitches, if you um, sign up for her newsletter, she will send you a little email on your birthday. And I got a little birthday discount code to use. And so, of course, I had to use it. I mean, couldn't pass that up. So I went over to Lindy Stitches and I had my eyes on this for so long. And I thought, I'm going to treat myself for my birthday. And I did. And I ordered this and I ordered the fabric and I got all the fibers and I was ready to roll. So... I just love this. I love that 
that mustardy yellow house. I love the kitty cats sitting on the roof. I love that silvery moon. Um, and I love the saying too. It says, speak for those who cannot speak for themselves, for the rights of all who are destitute. I think that's beautiful. So I started it yesterday, so don't get too excited. I don't have a whole lot. So I'm using the call for um, 36 count oaken linen from Picture This Plus. And I'm using all of the call for um, like gentle arts. And I think there's maybe a classic color works or two in there and the DMC. So I think I'm using all as called for. So I have just a small start. I started in the top um, left corner. So I'm just starting with that green border there with the flowers. So as you can see, I haven't gotten very far yet, but a start to start. And I'm keeping that in my beautiful pumpkin spice bag from Painted Leaf Co. Uh, there might be a couple left in the shop. So if you love pumpkin spice, rush over and see if there's still any in the shop. I love how those orange pumpkins pop on this uh, turquoise blue fabric. It's beautiful. I love the inside with the polka dots. And of course, I have to get the matching uh, notions pouch always. So one of my favorites. I say that all the time. All of them are my favorites, to be honest. My mom makes awesome bags. What can I say? I'm just lucky to know somebody who makes great bags. <laughs> One more bag I got to show you. Speaking of beautiful bags. Okay. I know I said the Nutcracker was a favorite. And I know I just said the Pumpkin Spice was a favorite. But honestly, if I had to pick a favorite of all favorites, I think it's this one. I don't know if I showed you this one yet or not, but it is stunning. I just love the colors, like the watercolor, I guess it's watercolor looking owls. Um, there's a little swan over here. I just love all of the flowers and the ferns. And I just love that this is something I can use all year. I love my holiday ones, but this one is, some, is a bag I'll use all year round. So um, it's gorgeous. And of course I have the matching notions pouch in here. Um, and in here, I'm keeping my birthday start. Oh, before I tell you about that, um, speaking of this bag, um, I don't know if you have watched Liz Matthews' most recent video, but she is doing a really nice giveaway to thank all of her viewers. And um, in that giveaway is one of these beautiful bags from my mom, Painted Leaf Co. And um, she also included the matching notions pouch. So um, if you want a chance to get your paws on one of these, go over to Liz's video and enter her giveaway. Um, along with this bag, she's giving away a lot of other wonderful things. So um, yeah, go over there now so you don't miss out. Um, but this is stunning, I love it. And inside I have a very special project. So this was my birthday start. It was a pattern I got from Needlework Expo. Um, I could not wait to get my hands on it. Um, it's by one of my very favorite designers, the Blue Flower. And I'm sure I've shown this to you before. It's the Moonlight Sampler. I just love it. I love stitching animals. Um, and I just love her designs. They're just so intricate and just delicate and beautiful. Um, and I just, I couldn't pass up all those little animals. Look at this possum with all of its babies on its back. I don't even like possums, but that's freaking cute. And the girl with her arm around the dog. I mean, and the owl. Look at the owl. See, it goes with my bag. So, um, yeah, I decided to wait and start this on my birthday since it was such a special pattern to me. And um, my friend Kirby from Instagram, Kirby uh, at Kirby Creates, um, she and I are doing a sal. We're calling it uh, Moonlight Stitcher Sal. Um, I know there's... Um, it's hashtag Moonlight Stitcher Sal, sorry. I know there's another Sal going on that's called hashtag Moonlight Sampler Sal. Um, so we had to name ours something a little bit different. So if you'd like to join Kirby and I, I know there's a few other Instagram friends who have joined us, um, but if you wanna join us in the Sal, um, there's no schedule, it's just stitching on it whenever you feel like it. Uh, we'd love to see your progress. So if you're if you're doing this pattern, um, use the hashtag Moonlight Stitcher Sal. I'd love to see your progress. Um, so I'm stitching it. I am stitching it on a 40 count um, linen from x Designs. It's in the color My Little Dove. Um, I don't have a big start, um, but what I have is I started 
this green border here and I've kind of extended it up and around here. So that's where I'm at. This is gonna be a huge pattern. I mean, I feel like I've done so much stitching already and I barely like scratched the surface of it. So here's what I've got. Trying to see if I'm in frame here. <laughs> so there it is. I just think it's stunning. It's beautiful, very classy. Um, I just love stitching blue flower. Got my cute little bee, Be Kind from Caterpillar Cross Stitch. So I love this one. So yeah, I think that's most of my uh, most recent um, whips. I've been stitching other things too, but these are the ones that are really making me excited lately. Things that I'm that I keep going back to and wanting to stitch on some more. Um, I have a little bit of haul. Um, I bought a lot of stuff since I saw you guys last time, but I'm sure you don't want to sit here for 20 minutes and look at all the things I bought. So I just kind of pulled out um, a few things that. Um, make me happy and I thought I'd share them with you. Um, the first thing is I got my book of days from Keepsakes, woohoo. Um, this is my first book of days, I'm really excited. Now, I am not so good with keeping up with planners and that type of thing and, um, and I'm not good with like the stickers and stuff so don't expect this to be like Liz Matthews caliber of planning but I thought I'd give it a try, so. I'm excited. It's really beautiful. I love the cover. So I've got my book of days. Um, I recently bought a Plum Street Sampler pattern. I haven't, I've never stitched anything from Plum Street Sampler. And I saw this one. And I thought it was super cute. It's called Good Company. Sorry for the glare. It's still in the plastic. Um, but I just think that little fox is so cute. And it looks like a pretty small design. Um, let's see. What's the stitch count? Um, oh, there, it's 87 by 72, so it's not big. Um, so I've got that all kitted up and ready to go. Um, for my birthday, uh, my friend Jen, my stitchy friend Jen, who you've met in a previous video, she gave me the most wonderful gift. She, she brought over this giant bag, and the bag was just full of all these different gifts. And so I had the most wonderful time just opening all my little gifts. It was like getting a Black Needle Society box that was made just for me. So I had so much fun. Um, but one of my favorite things in the bag was this pattern. Again, I've told you I love the blue flower and I've had my eye on this pattern for so long. And now I finally got one of my own. It's called Night Walked Down. And I just, I just love it. I love the colors. I love the design. I love that kitty cat down there. I love stitching animals. So I'm so happy to have my hands on this. I've already got it kitted up and ready to go. So hopefully in my next video, I'll have a start to show you. So um, one last piece of haul to show you. I got my most recent um, fabric from my Fabric of the Month Club from Be Stitch Me. And this is by far, I'm gonna take it, sorry for the crinkle, I'm gonna take it out of the, out of the plastic because I have to show you. This is by far my favorite fabric I've gotten yet. It is gorgeous. It is called Cardinal. And it's just this amazing, like mottled red color. And that it's looking a little washed out in the camera. It's a little like richer in person, but it is fantastic. I cannot wait to find something to stitch on this because uh, it's just beautiful. So it's a um, 36 count linen and I just love it. I'm thinking maybe something Christmas, I don't know. If anybody has an idea of a pattern that would look stunning on this red cardinal fabric, I'd love to hear it because I cannot wait to just put something on this fabric. It is beautiful. So, yeah. All right. So, like I said, I've got more stuff, but I'm not going to bother showing it all to you. Um, this is just going to be a quick video for me today because I just wanted to make sure I had a chance to see you guys and say hi and say I'm still here. Um, I didn't go anywhere. I, I just, uh, it's just been a minute, so I'm back, and um, I will be back next week, so um, you won't have long to wait to see me again, lucky you. <laughs> um, so I will be back next week, because I have something I want to show you next week. So, um, with all that, that's my update for the week. Sorry for the super short video. Um, I hope you guys are all doing well. Again, I'm very sorry for not being around, but um, I, I just appreciate all of the support that I get from you guys 
and I appreciate the friendships that I've made on Instagram with many of you. I'm looking forward to getting to meet some of you um, at some of the retreats that are coming up, like the Steel City Stitchers and StitchCon. So um, I just love this community. And, and uh, I know that even if I go a few weeks between videos, I know you guys are still there and you're still my friends and, and, uh, and you forgive me, I hope, right? <laughs> so anyway, you guys have a great week. I'll see you next weekend. And um, until then, see you later. Bye.